Welcome back everybody. Today we've got some more property maintenance and another project going on with the skid steer mulcher. At this point in the game, this tool is proving invaluable to my property development. As always, we are proud to be sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. If you're looking for a stability solution to add to your tractor, make sure you check out Bora. They are made in America and have a lifetime warranty. We try to keep cranking out high quality content for you, so if you do enjoy the video, we'd love to get a thumbs up from you. I'm fairly new to developing a property, especially one of this magnitude, so if you have some tips, some pointers, why don't you leave a comment down below, see if you can help me out. And if you want to follow along on the journey as we continue to build out this piece of land, why don't you hit that subscribe button to see more videos. And if you want something for your tractor or your skid steer, make sure you check out goodworkstractors.com. Okay, so the main thing we're doing with the skid steer today is going to be putting in another trail, something that's easier for the tractors to get down. We have a lot of terrain change here, a lot of hills to deal with. I know a lot of you guys deal with that too. And certain points of the existing trails that were created already before we purchased the property were not really designed for tractors to go on. And so a four-wheeler, a skid steer, when you're, you're biking or you're hiking, it's just fine, but they're on a slope like this, on a slant. And to some extent, you can take that, and we've gone down a few of them with tractors, but it's still uncomfortable, right? It's still an uneasy feeling. So I think I found a better way on a section of land to really just go more straight up and down versus kind of on an angle, which is really uncomfortable. So we're gonna get to that. But I was out riding the trails yesterday, I think it was, and uh, came across this down tree, which is, it happens, right? You have a lot of trails, you're gonna have a lot of down trees. And so we gotta get this cleared off of here. Yeah, I could use a chainsaw, but this mulcher is like a chainsaw on steroids. So we're gonna go ahead, rip this thing up. At some point, that trunk's gonna be too large. I'm gonna kind of just, shove it over with the mulcher head to the side of the trail as well but we'll knock out what we can here and get to that trail i don't know if it's coming through on on camera or not but i am feeling a little bit uncomfortable right now we have four thousand foot of frontage enough trail that goes right along the pond and the marsh on this property i'm not going to say his name but he's my brother i think you can figure it out decided to find the one spot the one spot along this entire trail that is like muddy and mucky and a potential hazard for the gator. It's gonna be fine. fine. Mm, I don't know about that. Anyway, so I'm having some serious flashbacks right now. You know, I'm starting to sweat a little bit. My heart's racing. I wanna get this tree cleared out so we can see if we can get this gator. Hopefully it's not stuck. Fingers crossed it's not stuck, but I'm telling you, it doesn't look good. This gator is built for dry land. This is not a amphibious is that what it's called it's not an amphibious vehicle it needs to be on dry firm land once you get it off of that all bets are off the table I'm nervous. It'll be all right. It's going to be okay. Oh, man. I think he's stuck. Oh. <gasps> oh. Hey, watch the woods. Look at that gator power. Gator power. Oh, yeah unstoppable all right how do you feel easy peasy feel yeah. like uh i knew what i was talking about oh man look at that mud it, pit it is, you know it's a good that's mix, a mud pit but it helps that my two wheels are in that well hey and it didn't freeze us in overnight that's true but and this... i was driving what when i was driving that's a big difference here well, wow i want to know at home okay time to I'm quiet quiet one, nope stop nope 
All right, so we got the trail cleared. I'm telling you, it's the perfect tool for the job, a mulcher. These mulchers really are amazing pieces of equipment. You can get them not just for your skid steers, you can get them for the three-point hitch on a tractor. A few guys asked if you can get them for the front end loader, but these are hydraulically driven for the front side. There's no PTO that's on the front of most tractors, and it's not going to run this type of a mulcher. They also weigh a lot, so they're very heavy. You wanna put it on your three-point hitch, run it off your rear PTO. You are gonna be driving backwards, but I'm telling you, they are, they're amazing. If you have a large acreage situation, you can probably justify getting one of these if you're gonna have a lot of maintenance down the road. We have 80, 90% of forest cover out here, so trees are constantly falling, wanna put a lot of paths in, driveways, clear overgrown areas, just a lot of maintenance that comes along. All right, so quick update. We're gonna be coming back tomorrow morning. We gotta get going to an appointment right now, but this is where we're gonna start mulching the new trail. Chris and I just walked it off. We turned on uh, the GPS, the tracking, and it's a 74 foot rise from where we're at right now to where we gotta go. And so that's a lot of elevation change. And so maybe that helps paint a little bit of a perspective as to why I'm trying to find an easier, a more gentle way to get up and down uh, the hillside with my tractor. Again, with the skid steer, Man, this thing's incredible. It can go pretty much anywhere. The Gator actually does a pretty good job too, the quads and whatnot, but it's the tractors that have that, that high center of gravity. Now, don't get me wrong, they're a piece of equipment that I love, but it doesn't come without its challenges, especially on hilly properties. So that's why we're doing what we're doing.
All right, well, we're back out the next day. We just wrapped up this new section of trail. I actually don't know how long it is. I know it goes up about 75 foot. Maybe we can get the length for you too. I simply can't explain how amazing this tool is. It was just like everything else you see out here just a couple hours ago. And if it weren't for having to, you know, change camera angles and reset up that kind of thing, we could have probably done it in under an hour. 75 foot of an elevation change from where we're standing to the highest point needed to make an easier way for my tractor to get down here that wasn't kind of on a side hill. So this is going to be incredible. It's going to be allowing me to get to the other side of the property much easier, much safer this way. The only tool that was used was that mulcher head and it took everything and just pulverized it. You know, it actually, I think, tills the top two or three inches of the ground if you wanna really drive it down as far as it can go after you kinda of get the woody material roughed up. But I can't think of another tool that can transform a piece of property or tackle a project as an all-in-one piece of equipment. As always, we did have a couple of hiccups, nothing major. Well, <laughs> one of them could be major. Had a fitting come loose on one of the hoses on the mulcher, which we tightened that up. I gotta figure out a better way to keep those tight. They keep vibrating loose. And we may have accidentally lost all of the audio and footage from one of the cameras. Um, the, uh, the AV guy formatted a card by accident. So we're gonna have to see if we can recover that. If we can't, there's not gonna be any audio from the Mulcher at all in this video. I think we'll just listen to more music. So again, I know this is a tractor channel, but a skid steer sure does make a big difference. You know, we're developing that big piece of property and every tool has its place. Right now, the skid steer for me is where it's at. However, in this case, I'm using the skid steer to create a path to allow my tractor to navigate the property and get projects done way over on the other side. So in the long run for me, it's gonna be a lot of tractor work. There's just certain projects that are a lot easier with the skid steer. Hey, as always, thanks so much for taking the time to stop by. If you did enjoy the video, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Leave a comment down below if you wanna join the conversation. If you wanna see more videos, hit subscribe. And if you want something for your tractor or your skid steer, make sure you check out goodworkstractors.com. That's gonna wrap it up for us today. So until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.